Hello and welcome to the Livy Lab. And today I come to you with a sad tale of woe. For this poor, innocent Samsung laptop has been a victim. Hello! Yes, it has been a victim of the most cruel, horrible creatures in the universe. The creature that you and I know of as child. Yes, a child got near this laptop and managed to spill orange juice, orange squash, all over it. Now obviously the uh, laptop did not respond too well to that and went fizzle fizzle bang and shut down. Now, this wasn't my child and it's not my computer. It's a uh, gentleman that works, gentleman I work with. This is his child's computer and uh, it's the second time it's been attacked. I got orange juice on it before and the keyboard stopped responding properly. But this time it went inside and the machine obviously was not happy. Now, uh, he tried to switch it back on. Big mistake. But he wasn't to know that. Uh, and it wouldn't respond, it doesn't fire up. So, out of desperation, he sent it to me to see if I can revive it. Now, if this happens to you, if you get orange squash juice or anything on this, best thing to do, 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 do not switch on, take out the power, take out the battery. Oh, oh to rehearse things before. Uh, lock, lock. Unlock. There we go. You get the idea. Take out the battery. Unscrew the hard drive. Take that out if you can to stop any liquid getting near it to it. If you can, release the CD drive. Use these screws here. Release that. Put the thing on its side and let it drain. Now, if it's just water or tea or coffee that's not got sugar in it, Leave it for a few days on its side, put it back together and see if it will run. Unfortunately, this is orange juice, which has got sugar in. Anything that's got sugar in, it may fire up after a few days, but the sugar is going to start corroding it. So it may work for a while, but six months later you're going to start seeing errors and eventually it's going to die because it will have been eaten from the inside. So, what we're going to do with this, strip it, wash it, because apparently the keyboard wasn't responding properly anyway, so we're going to wash that, we're going to wash all the inside, get all the gunk off, put it back together, and see if we can fire it up. So first things first, let's strip this little bugger. Screwdriver. Ding, ding, ding. I think I'm going to have to cut until I get that battery off. Be right back. Okay, found out why that was going wrong. Uh, on mine, you release it and it flips up. This one slides out. So that was the difference. Now, I've got to go and remove one billion screws. Great, but I do not need to remove the monitor. That's one good thing. So, let's carry on, shall we? Okay, we are in at the keyboard level, and you can already see signs of stuff having gone in. Uh, it doesn't pick up on camera too well, but there are watermarks on the back of this keyboard unit, and the ribbon cable is showing signs of gunk having been there, so <laughs> not a good sign. And there is, pardon me, rusting on the port where it's gone, it's all gooey. Not good. Oh dear. So. We're going to have to do the old engineer thing and... Oh, it's going to cost a bit. That's not going to cost anything, but there we go. This time. And uh, I'll try and get into this bugger. I shall continue!
Okay, it's lucky I didn't record that, because it's scary. Uh, yes, I had to use a highly technical method called brute force and ignorance, because it's just basically clipped down. I've not come across that before, but you learn every day. Uh, now, I'm just having to put my finger across it. On examination, uh, there are some signs of water or chemical ingress, and yeah, there's definitely some corrosion going on here already. Uh, let's show you. Oh, it's bouncing badly. I'm gone. <coughs> I'll get something to prop it up and uh, I'll be right back. Okay, propped up with a pillow. Now let's see what the investigations have discovered. First of all, they've discovered that compared to a Hewlett Packard, this is quite a simple construction. So it's not the nightmare that my other computer was. Sorry, not the Hewlett Packard. Uh, Oh, the other computer I used to have. Uh, oh no, it was HP. Sorry. Going nuts. Yes. The HP in the oven video I did where I uh, oven baked the motherboard. That was a nightmare to take apart. This is not so bad. Quite simple. <coughs> so let's look what we found. The motherboard itself is quite clean. Dusty. But that's, you know, you expect that. Uh, but you can see when I start touching stuff. There is corrosion. Uh, biggest sign is here. Ooh, tasty. So yeah, and uh, there's a lot of corrosion around these areas. So we're going to have to get this off. See the port there. We're going to have to get this off. We'll have a look on the underside, which appears to be where most of the electronics is. Uh, see what condition that's in. I shall come back when that's out and I shall show you. Be right back. Okay, short while later, and we can see that fortunately the underside of the motherboard has escaped. Nicely, okay, so there's no corrosion, no sign of ingress there. So our problem lies on the top in these areas here. That should be easy uh, to sort out. I'm going to go and scrub this in the bath. And just to show that I do, you can join me. Uh, I'm not going to oven dry it. I'm just going to let it air dry for a few days. And then we'll put this thing back together. It's quite a simple laptop to put together, actually. I'm quite happy. Uh, inside the case, just show a little bit of water. So I'm just going to wipe that with a cloth. And uh, yes, you can now join me up in the bathroom where I'll be cleaning this. Right. Welcome to the Retro Gaming VX bathroom. Light is brilliant because the uh, light in the bathroom runs a fan, so you'd have to listen to the bloody fan running. So, I'm going to use water. Yes, I'm going to use water on this motherboard. And an electric toothbrush with an old head. And all I'm going to do, yes, don't faint, I'm using water on electronics. But, when you criticise, which you probably will. Uh, remember, there's no electricity running through these electronics at the moment, and they will survive this just fine, as you'll see if you've seen my other videos where I've used water and even baked motherboards to restore them. I have used this technique successfully on other motherboards that were dead due to corrosion. So. Just using this, get in there and get all the gunk off. So it's not plaque this time. <laughs> and we're just going to give the whole thing a quick dip to get any crap off. Did I just swear? Yes, I did. Hello. While we're here, we can wash the fan out. Yes, stop crying, those of you who think this is. That it works fine as long as you let it dry it will be fine so there we go uh, where's that other point that you know issues I can't ah up here it's already clean there we go that's the area that was affected and in this port here you can see the damage and we'll just give that a good scrub there Now that is actually corroded, so 
I have to get a sponge on that. But that is basically what we do. We'll get a sponge and get that bit sorted. That's basically what we do. We'll then store this on its side for a few days and let it dry out. Onto the keyboard. Now, as for the keyboard, I've got some water here, which is quite warm, but not too hot. Uh, there's nothing you can do with these keyboards. You can't take the keys off without breaking them. You can't take this backing off. So all I'm going to do is give it a good soak in this nice hot water. Agitate it slightly. Oh yeah, agitating. Just let it soak in there for a bit and then uh, agitate again. And then we'll let it dry off. And hopefully that should be enough to remove any crap that's inside that. Sure. I'll be right back. You can already see some of the stuff that's come out of it. Gunk. Loads of gunk floating in it. Ugh. Anyhow, right, time for the case. Now, the case doesn't need anything special, so all I have here is some Febreze flash wipes. And this will get rid of any watermarks and clean up all the dust as well. So that's quite simple. Uh, what I also noticed while I was Moving stuff here is the battery terminals have some corrosion on. This isn't, it doesn't look like it's from leaking, it looks like. Uh, yeah, the pins on the back of the motherboard must have uh, left some deposit. And there you go, it just wipes straight off, so that's from the motherboard. I'll just check that from the motherboard. But there we go, this is quite a simple part of it. So, I shall continue doing this, get it nice and clean, and then in a few days' time. I shall put this bugger back together. So, I shall see you then. What a difference a day makes. Ooh, we are 24 little hours. Yeah, Anyway, enough of my singing. Uh, right, it's a day later. One time's a night shift and six hours sleep afterwards. And we're back. Yes, and the motherboard. Is now dry. Isn't that nice? Little watermark there. But yes, it is now dry. BIOS battery reinstalled. I forgot earlier to tell you. Remember to take that out. Uh, so you'll be in the poop. So, yes, all washed, all dried, all looking good. And the keyboard as well. Where's it gone? It's over there. Is now all dry and ready. So, what we're going to do is reinstall it all. Uh, we're not going to do a complete build up of it yet. I'm just going to build it up to a standard of where I can run it. But I won't fully build up the case and everything. There's no use doing that and then finding that it doesn't work and you've got to take it all apart again. So just going to install the motherboard, wire it up, put the keyboard on, and oh, well, obviously the disk drives and stuff, and uh, fire it up and see what happens. Now you've already seen me tear it down, so I am not going to put you through the torture of watching me rebuild it. So, we'll be back once that's done. Catch you in a mo. Haha, said it different this time. <laughs> okay, sometime later, and uh, yeah, uh, I've delayed by this keyboard, which is an absolute pain to get the, uh, the cable ribbon to sit in its holder properly. So, I've plugged her into the main, she's not screwed together or clipped together yet properly. It's just loosely put together to see what we get when we fire her up. Uh, plug the mains in, we've got a light, Whee! which is a good sign. So, let's press the power button and see what we get. Oh, we've got power, we've got lights, we've got vision, we've got vision! She's back. So far, so good. Let's see. Windows is starting. Oh, excellent. Sounds like the optical driver is trying to read. I don't think there's anything in there. Let's just... No keyboard. Ah. Oh, there is. Okay, no reliable keyboard at the moment.
I'll be right back. Right, uh, this thing still has keyboard issues. Uh, it did say that it was did have keyboard issues, but uh, yeah, it it has keyboard issues. So I'm wondering whether this is due to either the keyboard being pooped or you. Yeah. Or whether it's that port, because that port has some corrosion. So what I'm going to do is go into the port, a uh, little bit of sanding with very fine sandpaper, and we'll uh, try it that way. Failing that, we can try an external USB keyboard if it will install it. So, I'll be right back. Right, a short while later, and we've uh, tried uh, to fix the keyboard. But it seems that port is just too far gone and eh -eh. although it works in some areas, in others, nah. So I think that uh, port on the motherboard is gone. I don't have any other keyboards to swap over and test, but I suspect it is that. The good news is uh, it does work with an external keyboard, so still got that option. Well, the bad news, <laughs> I think the uh, fluid damage has uh, destroyed the optical drive because that is just cycling all the time. Uh, that and the USB ports on this side are heavily corroded, so I think we got some more damage. So, I shall return this to its owner. It can be used with the keyboard, I uh, can't get in because I've got the password. Silly me. Um, but I do think the optical drive is history. And it would have to be used on the external keyboard because the corrosion on that port, which is likely uh, to be from the previous time it got uh, zapped with orange juice, uh, it's just too far gone. And yeah, can't replace that port. So, anyway, that's how you repair. Uh, Mostly, <laughs> if you caught this, if this was the first time that this had been flooded and uh, it was caught quickly, uh, it probably all would come back, but it's the second time and there is corrosion in there from the first time, likely judging by the amount of corrosion on those ports. So I've done the best I can with this. I shall return it to him and, uh, oh well. It was going to be scrapped if it didn't work at all, so... I'll turn it back to him and he'll make the most and decide what he wants to do with it. So, there you go. 90% for success one. Thank you all very much. You need to quit being dirty. You're a dirty boy. <laughs>